it's just, you know, it's been a disaster this season. Um, and yeah, it's a, definitely a shock. Uh, certainly, uh, I don't think anybody on our side of the fence, uh, from our player group, from our coaches, our manager, um, or even outside the organization, saw would have predicted this. So, aside from the injuries, where do you think things have gone wrong? Uh, well, it's we're going to evaluate it all. Clearly, got uh, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have some time to do that. Um, but I'd say everybody's had a little bit of a hand in it, you know, um, from top to bottom, and it's our job to find out where. Um, you know, obviously, that's what we're going to be up to and tasked with. Uh, you know, I've certainly met with Hal Steinbrenner on several occasions already, and, and um, you know, this is not something we're accustomed to or used to, or and I think, you know, there's definitely going to be a lot of internal assessments going on. Uh, Gary and Brent. Brian, Aaron, players have said that the fight is there, the Wolves compete is there, the guys in the clubhouse are there. Did you see that fight and that competitive spirit when you watch? I'd try to explain it as, I mean, the fight is there, the care is there, the intent is there. Uh, being a part of, you know, um, this organization from quite for quite some time, you know, I do know the difference. Uh, you know, uh, in uh, when you're bad, you know, a lot of those other things that you just described also come with it. Uh, the la I can just tell you, putting yourself into a player's seat, if they're at the plate, for instance, they do not want to fail, uh, or if they're on the mound, they do not want to to fail either. Uh, and they're all collectively trying to do the best they possibly can to to stop what's happening to us or what's occurring now for a sustained period of time. And, and you know, because they enjoy competing, they enjoy winning, they enjoy having success. And many of them had, have had much success in their career. And, and there's a lot of good that comes with it. And no one wants the bad that comes with having lack of success. And so, so yeah, they're certainly trying to... Uh, swing, swing away, you know the uh, the failure, or or pitch away the failure, so we don't they or we don't have to deal with what comes with that. Um, you know that because uh, you know obviously we're in a bad spot, and it's not you know we're losing sleep over it. Whether it's the front office, whether you're a player, or coach, a manager, um, you know it's this is a rough time. You know, I don't care if you're in high school, college, or, or pro sports. Uh, when you're part of something that's supposed to be really good and it turns really bad, it makes for a horrific experience, um, you know, both you know, obviously in, your, in the game situation and the clubhouse and obviously when you get home. And, um, you know, and that's something, something I wouldn't wish that on anybody, um, but it's also part of it. And you got to put your, you know, you got to put your, you got to be a pro and you got to, you got to deal with it. You got to face it. You got to fight through it and find what's what caused it. You know, uh, you know, and every everything's going to be obviously looked at. Also, you made the decision to fire Dylan Lawson uh, at the All Star break. What has Sean Casey brought to the team in your estimation? Because the numbers haven't changed all that much. No, the numbers haven't changed. And you know, with in Dylan's case, obviously we were struggling offensively, and we still are struggling offensively. But the one thing I was able to determine on making that difficult decision uh, was was how much um, I felt from my you know touch points with all of our you know players and stuff. How much connect connections were going on with Dylan, and how much of his coaching was able to be transferred over he does a lot of he, you know we've had a lot of success with Dylan's uh, programs um, and you know but but at this level it's a little bit different and uh, and I don't care you know if you whatever manager or whatever coach you are you have to get player acceptance or buy-in and and uh, and that wasn't that connectivity or relationship building whatever that was wasn't there so I I obviously made a change something I've never done uh, but not, you know, when I when I saw that that was the case, and f through collectively the entire, you know, offense, um, I knew we just needed to find somebody different. So going to flip to Sean Casey, he is connecting with these guys. Um, you know, um, yeah, certainly it doesn't. Dylan did everything he could to try to connect and, and obviously drive through the uh, 
um, success on the offense and and then um, and Sean Case is doing the same. You know, um, the only difference is obviously I think you know there is some connection there going on with with Sean and and hopefully we can get some better results. But acknowledge that obviously uh, see something wrong, try to fix it. And uh, but if it doesn't get fixed, uh, you know, listen to understand why the question's coming because uh, you know our job is to find a way to get better. So, Brendan, right Cat. in front of you, Cash. Hey, gosh. Um, what do you say to the fans who are angry at the the situation the team is in right now, with the where, where it is in, in last place in the AL East, and also, you know, a lot of the anger has been directed at you um, through to poor performance or roster construction. They're, they're, they seem to be pretty uh, upset with the job they feel you've done. They want us to win. Um, they're invested in this franchise. They're invested in our team, and uh, and they're disappointed. And certainly, I hear them loud and clear. We're disappointed too. And also, how would you assess the job that Aaron Boone has done this season? I think Booney's doing everything he can possibly do, uh, just like every all of us. We're all trying to, you know. But I, I use the, you know, the Dylan question just came up was an example of trying to change something to, to find a way through it and get better at it. And and so I think we're all pulling out everything we possibly can, um, you know, or have been, you know, even though you know the results haven't been there. Um, Including Aaron Boone, you know, I, I know we had a team meeting Friday night before after that mm -hmm. loss to Boston going into Saturday's game, but you know that didn't help. There's individual conversations, there are team conversations. Uh, you know, you have your specialty coaches doing their job, pulling their weight. You know, um, you know that's that's the job, and you know I can assure you he's he's pulling all those levers too.